Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover the divisibility rule for 15. Now remember, when we're checking for divisibility, we're checking to see if we can divide without getting a remainder, so the given numbers work out exactly. In this video, we're going to go through four examples and see if those numbers are divisible by 15 based on the rule at the top of the screen. So if a number is divisible by both 3 and 5, that means the number is divisible by 15 as well. So our rule, just as a, a reminder here, our divisibility rule for 3, we need to find the sum of the digits, and if that sum is divisible by 3, the original number is divisible by 3. And as far as the rule for 5, if a number ends in a 0 or 5, it's divisible by 5. So let's jump into number one here where we have 1,470. And we need to see if it's divisible by three and five. So for three, again, we need to find the sum of the digits and see if that sum is divisible by three. So we need to add one plus four plus seven. So one plus four is five plus seven, we get 12. 12 is divisible by 3. We can do 12 divided by 3 equals 4, and we do not get a remainder. So 1,470 is divisible by 3. Now that number ends in a 0. So remember, if a number ends in a 0 or 5, it's divisible by 5. Therefore, 1,470 is divisible by 5. 1,470 is divisible by both 3 and 5, that means it's divisible by 15 as well. So on to number two, 13,035. So let's see here. Let's find the sum of our digits. So one plus three plus three plus five. One plus three is four, plus three is seven, plus five. We get 12 again, just like number one. And like we talked about, 12 is divisible by three. So that means our original number is divisible by three. So our number here, 13,035, ends in a five. That means it's divisible by five. So our number is divisible by both three and five, therefore divisible by 15. So on to number three, where we have 8,951,800. So let's come down here and see if that number is divisible by both three and five. Let's take the sum of the digits first here and check if it's divisible by three. So eight plus nine plus five plus one plus eight. Eight plus nine is 17 plus five is 22 plus one is 23 plus eight gives us 31. Now 31 is not divisible by three here. So that means that our original number is not divisible by three either. This number does end in a zero, so it is divisible by five, but it needs to be divisible by both three and five in order to be divisible by 15. So number three is a no as far as being divisible by 15. Lastly, number four, we have 1,008,525. So let's come below and check to see what we have here. So the sum of the digits, one plus eight plus five plus two plus five. One plus eight is nine, plus five is 14, plus two is 16, plus five, we get 21. Now 21 is divisible by three. 21 divided by three equals seven without a remainder. So our original number is divisible by three as well. Now our number ends in a five, that means it is divisible by five. So 1,008,525 is divisible by both three and five, therefore divisible by 15. So there you have it. There is the divisibility rule for 15. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.